Hello and welcome to another fun and exciting point-of-sale related video. Purpose of this video is to go over what I know and don't know about the OLCC POS plans or updates regarding the new point-of-sale system for liquor stores in Oregon. And this comes out of a trip I was just on a few days ago where I met with multiple liquor stores across the state of Oregon. So let's dive in. I do want to state that I do not work for the OLCC, uh, but in my conversations with liquor stores, they were quizzing me what I knew, and apparently, in some cases, I know more than some of them, uh, at least on kind of what's going on, or maybe um, kind of a bigger picture. So let's get started. What we know as of April 2022 is there was a RFI, Request for Information, was issued by the OLCC back in February of 2021, solicitating interested vendors and suppliers who could provide a POS system for the uh, 250 plus liquor stores in the state of Oregon. Uh, last communication I had a few weeks ago from the OLCC is they're expecting a RFP or an RFQ, depending on terminology you want to use, request for proposal or repress, request for quote, is expected summer of 20, 2022. That's not easy to say. Okay. They communicated to me that this will be for a full ERP system. So it's not just point of sale, but something that can handle the warehouse, you know, distribution from the warehouse to the stores, and of course, point of sale within the stores. Uh, what I have gleaned from talking to liquor stores is they're being told that they really should not be changing POS systems at this point. So hopefully that means a decision from the OLCC will be coming within the next uh, one to two years, which is a frustration for many of the liquor stores I met with just due to older systems uh, and needing a, a point of sale system that's a little more up-to-date and more geared towards a liquor store. All right, what we don't know as of April 2022, is this going to be a single system that's supposed to be used in all the stores, or is there going to be an option to choose from multiple point-of-sale systems? You know, a, a small store in a small town has different needs than a larger liquor store with maybe a wider variety of products that's in a larger area, larger metropolitan area. You know, uh, what we don't know is there gonna be grandfather time for changing systems. So is it gonna be, everyone has to get on the new system right away or do you have a year or two to decide? Stuff like that. Uh, also, who the heck is gonna pay for the new POS system? Are the stores gonna have to cover this or is the OLCC going to uh, fund the uh, project? Uh, will the new POS system or systems offer integrated payment processing? Many of the stores have to use those standalone payment terminals. And of course, those cost you just shy of $100 a month in errors, which can uh, add up over time versus using a payment terminal that connects directly to the point of sale system. And we also don't know, is this going to be mandated or recommended? So if the OLCC comes out and says, okay, these, this is the system or these are the systems, do you have to change? Or will, is it going to be recommended you change? So there's a lot of uh, unanswered questions at this point, and that leads into my recommendations. At this point, you're going to have to hang in there. Um, you know, I hate to use the word demand, but demand communication from your area district or regional manager from the at the OLCC. Uh, it's tough enough running a liquor store, you know, to not know what's happening on the technology side of things is uh, another source of frustration, I'm sure. Uh, if you can, there is a POS committee at the OLCC, so at least get updates on their meetings or join the committee and be part of the uh, the decision making process. Uh, be sure to voice your opinion. You know, if you've come across a great POS system that would suit all the liquor stores in Oregon, let the OLCC know about it. 
they can get them on the uh, the list for that um, request for proposal. And then we also have out there, you know, th this ballot that the uh, Oregon Supreme Court upheld to extend spirit sales to grocery stores. So is that going to play into this? I realize that's not till, you know, not will if it goes to voters, which I'm sure it will. Uh, would not be until, I guess, January of 2023. And then uh, we need to keep an eye on what's happening in other states like Pennsylvania. They are also uh, putting initiatives to try to get the government out of the liquor store business, make it totally uh, independent of the uh, not being government run like it is in other states, especially Idaho and uh, Utah. And of course, Oregon. Okay. <laughs> I hope that helps. And it's not a ton of information, but at least I felt I should uh, share it just given the number of inquiries and um, questions I've been getting. All right. Thanks for watching.